Hi, this is Lee again with Lee's Custom Baits. Uh, I'm back out in the garage. I've got a whole bunch of lures set up to paint. I'm going to start off with uh, painting like an olive green color uh, for like some bluegill or something like that. One of the things, I mean, they've got a baby uh, bass color. They've got a brand new watermelon color I haven't tried yet, but it looks real good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my own color for the pattern I want. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what we need to do is we need a, a, a plastic cup, or if I want to mix up extra, which I, I think I'll do, I'll just go ahead and use a bottle. You can buy these down at any hobby store online. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, Lure Works might sell them, spike it. But we're going to use three colors to make this. I'm going to use brown, blue, and yellow. So what I'll do is I'll put in some yellow. Then I'll put in some blue. And I'm just doing this. I hit. Another thing you might uh, get, these are like, I've seen them for 20, I've seen them as cheap as 12, I've seen them as cheap as 8, but then the shipping takes it back up. But these uh, battery powered mixers by Badger, they do a really good job mixing. That's the color I've got now. It's kind of a leaf green. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some brown. I might add some more blue to darken the green. But we'll just play it a little bit until I get the color I want. And this is easy it is. This stuff mixes really good. Make sure you keep these clean. Uh, it's a lot nicer. I just put in a bunch more blue. I'm going to put in some brown. Starting to get more of the color. And I mean, since this is a water soluble paint, I can just stick that in a bottle of water and it comes out clean, ready for the next use. Just kind of wipe it off. Now, if you do leave this on too long, you might have to use some acid. I mean, not acid, but uh, either some um, alcohol or maybe a little bit of acetone, and that'll take it right off because it's just metal. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but we're getting a lot closer to an olive brown color that I'd like to see. But I'm going to want that a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little bit more brown to it. Might have been a little bit too much. Now I can take this just on a finger or something and I can wipe it to see what color that is. That's getting pretty close. I still like mine a little bit more olive, so I'll just put in a little bit more brown. So now I've basically got my uh, 
the main paint for a, uh, a bluegill, I mean baby bass, you could actually use this on a rainbow trout pattern if you wanted. It's not as qu quite as dark as the baby bass that uh, Lure work sells. I could even add some of that in there and I bet you that would bring it up real good. Let me try that. Here's our baby bass color, so shake it up a little bit, make sure I got good pigment. What's nice about this, it's quick instead of stirring it, splashing it all over yourself. And get this cleaned up, move some baits around, and we'll be ready to paint. Now, this is the uh, the baby bass color and this is the color I just mixed up using yellow, blue, brown and a little bit of this baby bass in it. So now we'll spray some and see if we like the way it sprays out, if it's going to have the color we want and if it does we can go ahead and start knocking them out. I've already set up quite a bit of different uh, lures on these little holders that I made and uh, I actually went down just bought, I think the board was like 10 foot and it was a uh, two dollars and something and then you run the brad nails through it and they hold it uh, after using these I think I'm gonna go back I like the, I think I like this thinner board a lot better because I can get my airbrush up underneath it where this is thicker and it's hard to get but these will still work real good you can make them in different sizes to hold different baits um, I mean even down to real small this is that uh, new dabber lure by um, Bass Assassin I tell you what, Bass Assassin makes some great baits. I'll be painting a few of those tonight. Okay, we got a dual phase airbrush. Uh, this is a Badger 105 Patriot. Uh, I think you can get this brush $70, $100 range. Easy to clean. You can buy all the parts you want for it. Uh, dual action. If you haven't used an airbrush before on a dual action, if you press down once, you should be able to hear the air. When you press down and pull it back, depending on how far you pull it back, that releases the paint. So what we'll do is we'll put a little paint in here and, and put a little color on and see what happens. Okay, this is actually a shad by Spike It. Um, these are really nice swim baits. Uh, Anytime you use an airbrush, you always want to see how your flow is going. Uh, one thing to do is you take your board or something, and just to make sure you want to get different lines, you want to be able to shade, you can go darker. I mean, you, you can paint little dots with it if you want. But when you get your airbrush, no matter what kind it is, I mean, all of them work reasonable. I, mean, I don't think there's a need to go buy a $400 airbrush for this kind of stuff. But like always, I always start with the back and I'm just going to shade this to kind of get a color I want. Kind of do the sides. Kind of paint the tail. We're not really going dark yet because we'll do that on the back. Yeah, I think that color I'm going to have to make it a little bit darker, so let me do that and then I'll be back with the color I want. Okay, we got some green in the brush. Looks a lot better. You got to remember is when you paint baits, Depending what's on the back side of the bait, like these are actually a pearl white, that's going to affect your color just like if you put that on somewhere else and uh, another bait or over another color. 
So we're going to shade a few of these real quick. Remember, I always start with the back. Because the back's usually one of the darkest points coming down into the sides. We just kind of fade that in. When you paint, don't go like this because what will happen is you'll get blotches. You want to go the full length of the bait so you keep like a uniform color on it. Now we'll just shade the sides a little bit. Get the tail. Try one of these white ones. This is a Shad Assassin. I love the of these baits. See, totally different color because this is on a solid white body. So we're just dusting these real quick and then we'll get ready for the next color. Okay, we'll stop that for a little bit. 